Hello, my name's Andy Patrick and I'm the sales manager here at Ametis. Along with being a ClickView partner, we are the master reseller in the UK for an associated technology called mPrinting. In this short video, I'll focus on mPrinting's ability to connect to two different ClickView documents and bring in the images and data into a single output report. This is probably best tackled after you've had some more basic exposure to mPrinting. I would suggest that this is not the first thing that you do when evaluating the product. Okay, so let's take a look at how this can be done. We have our mPrinting application open on screen and I've already created my mPrinting file. In that file I've set up a recipient so we can check our output later and I've created two separate connections to two separate ClipView applications. Connection 1 is Amplifier Sales, Connection 2 is Amplifier Finance. Our first step in the process is to create a report and I'll use Excel for this. So we'll call it Excel Report 1 and notice my connection is pointing to my first data source, Connection 1. I've already set up a nice looking Excel template so I'll use that and we can go in and edit that template to bring through the charted information from our ClipView application. I'll choose an object from our first data source, being a nice Meco chart, and we'll drag that onto the Excel sheet. We can take a preview to see what that gives us and we'll go in and save and close that down. The next thing to do is to create a task to generate the output from that report. So my report task, we'll call it task 1. Again, be aware of the connection, we're still connected to data source connection 1. And I'll have the output go into a recipient subfolder. Let's make sure we pull through the right report and make sure that we pull through a recipient so we can check that output. I'll save and close that and we'll give it a quick run. This takes just a couple of seconds and as you can see only information and messages. We can now check our output by going to Emetis Excel Report 1. Our next step takes us back into the mPrinting product and we'll create a second report. So let's logically call that Excel Report 2. Let's change our connection so we're looking at our second ClickView application and the important step here is to make sure that we use the template that we've just saved in our first connection. We can go in and edit that template now and we'll have reference to the chart that we bought through earlier but it won't be referenced in the objects on the left hand side. I'm going to use table now and bring through some table information from a chart that exists in my second ClickView application and we'll pull that down underneath. Again we can preview that information and we can see our table data and we've got reference to the previous chart that we pulled through onto the template. It's not showing at this point in time because we're only connected to a single data source. Again we'll save that and we'll close that down. At this point in time we don't need to create a task to generate any output from that second report but what we do need to do is take a copy of that second report that we've created. So we'll use our clone option and what we have to do here is just change the template name to become the output from the first report that we generated. So I'll go into mPrinting, look at my output folder, it was the Emetis folder, Excel Report 1. We don't need to go in and change the template at all because we've already dealt with that in our second step. So I can just save and close that now. What we do need to do is create a task to generate the output from our cloned report. So we'll go in and create our second report task, calling it Task 2. Make sure that I change my connection to connection 2 and I'll have the output go into the recipient subfolder again. When I pull through the reports I make sure it's the cloned copy and again I'll make sure that it's going to the right recipient. 
let's save and close that now we need to make sure that these tasks are run in the correct order so I'll go through and create a new job and we'll call it multi-doc we'll add our tasks task 1 first then task 2 we'll save and close that and we'll run it again it will take just a couple of seconds and we make sure that we've got no errors and no warnings everything's okay and we can come and check the output again and just past 11 o'clock we now have Excel report 1 Excel report 2 copy and on the report copy we can see we've got our first chart and as we scroll down we can see we have our table data so this is how to bring in charted information and data from two separate ClickView documents into a single output report in mprinting. As you can see this process does work and it's not too onerous but as always the guys at mprinting are constantly looking for ways to improve their product. There should be a simplified way to do this in a service pack release and we expect this to be ready in October. I hope that this short video has helped you understand how mprinting can be used to distribute reports containing data from two different ClickView documents. More tutorials will be appearing on our YouTube channel over the coming weeks and months aimed at getting the best out of your ClickView investment. If you would like more information about this tutorial or any other aspect of mprinting or ClickView then please get in touch using the details on screen now. Thanks for watching.